Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to play with the set I monitor and take some par reading with a couple of various lights. I'm just curious about how it does, and you guys are curious how it works and how you would measure par. So here we go. Check it out. So in the last video, we went over what the Sennai Reef Monitor is. I basically got it for the par readings, the, to make par readings for uh, certain, you know, light fixtures as I do reviews and stuff. So we could get a good idea of what they do. But what I want to also do right now in this video is just play with uh, doing some par readings, uh, see what the pair comes out to and stuff like that. And we're going to do it with various uh, fixtures that I currently have on hand right now versus the Phoenix uh, Planet Plus. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Stingray as well. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do a couple of floodlights because I'm really curious about that as well. So let's do this. First of all, sorry for crouching down. And again, if you want to know more about aquariums, I want to discuss aquariums you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when I make new videos and do you know, live streams, all blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so first thing I did was um, I need to wait on the monitor itself. So I just went ahead and took some rubber ends and attached it to this uh, tile piece. So I'll hold it down because it's light and the wire kept pushing it around. I want some kind of weight to flatten it down. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just place the monitor down. Uh, this is where I have it at right now and it's kind of crooked, unfortunately. I mean, you know, you want this to be as straight as possible against the light. And then we're gonna run into another problem here, which I will talk about in a bit but okay that's good now the other problem is this the monitor is about oh, let's say three inches from the glass so with the way that light works it's going to get a bigger par rating depending on where the light's shining through because of the re, uh, reflection okay the light will reflect off the glass hit the um, monitor the sensor here and give it a lot more uh, par rating than usual if it was done in the middle of the tank but it doesn't matter because for this tank, that's a small tank. It's only 12 inches back and forth. So most likely with the height of the current light right now, uh, we're probably going to get reflection off the glass anyways. Now, as you can see here, the light is right here. So we got to measure the height. It's about, it should be 13 inches, I think. But if we go down, we're measuring about 13 inches. So give or take 13 inches. So we're measuring this at a height of 13 inches. We're also going to lower it to, you know, the top of the tank, and we're going to see the readings on that as well. And you tell there's going to be different readings. So as you can see, the readings here at 13 inches. Let's go and move the light. Make sure it's up. It's not even right on top of it. Okay, so this is directly on top of the sensor. So we're getting about 33 par uh, per rating of 61%, which is not bad, I guess. I'm not sure it's about the curve here. I wish there was more blues. The reds are getting getting some good reds here. Uh, don't worry about the Kelvin rating. Don't worry about the Lux, whatever. But this is what it looks like at 13 inches with the Phoenix Planet Plus. This is just the Planet Plus, not the 24-7. 33, 34. It's going to fluctuate because of stuff in the water and stuff like that. And that Corey going over the sensor. What are you doing, Corey? Get off the sensor. Now I'm going to go ahead and take it off the legs here and um, just kind of make it so that it's you know flush with the top of the tank, uh, how it usually is when it comes with those plastic legs. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Whoa. So we are looking at 61 par at 58% per rating, which isn't bad. I mean, you're looking at it, and this uh, lighting fixture is... Uh, almost two years old, just uh, so we could throw that in there. But in this case, if I wanted more uh, growth, faster growth, I would probably put the light down. It does give it a little bit more par and uh, make the uh, plants grow faster. Um, I would love it. Probably would do it maybe for a week or two to grow those blixes in the back here. Um, but then I'm going to have a huge mess of the stupid drawer sag in the front. I really need to trim this up. Okay, one thing I was really curious about when I was doing all the lighting videos is what happens when you double up. So luckily, I actually have two Phoenix Planet Plus. Now, this other Planet Plus was on my Uigumi tank, which I did 
turn off and stop using after about um, a year and a couple months. So this probably has better lighting on it right now um, because of the usage. Maybe I don't know how long or how well these Phoenix Plant Plus last um, in the terms of longevity of keeping it on all the time. So let's see what happens when we double it up. OK, so there's these two Phoenix here and they're um, both over the sensor. So we'll see what the readings are. Okay, both lights are on. So we're looking at 69 par rating, 60% per. So we're actually looking pretty good. We actually added about another 20 par by adding a second unit uh, lighting fixture to the tank itself. Pretty interesting facts, huh? Okay, so what we have now, as you see here, we were mounted the Phoenix Stingray. Okay, so it's mounted directly over the uh, sensor. Now let's go ahead and measure this. We are going to get about yeah, about 10 and a half inches. So you can see here the par is 22 and the pier is about 55%, which is okay. Kelvin rating, this, this light is actually a little cooler than the uh, Planet Plus for some reason or other. At least it's measuring it that way. Now, I've read online that um, the Kelvin rating might be a little off. Um, I have to research more into the, how the Senai is actually measuring that. Okay. 10 watt floodlight. I bought this for a small tank, a five gallon tank or 10 gallon tank. I just want to see how this worked. But now that we have measurements to play with, let's see how it does. All right, let's get it centered on the sensor itself. And let's take a look at the readings. Now again, 10 watts, so it's not all that powerful. We are shining at, uh, again, nine inches. Wow, when you look at that, guys, that 10 watt, I think this was like 15 bucks. Maybe I think somewhere around that 10 bucks, maybe it was cheap. That's why I bought it. Even though it's a spotlight, as you can tell here, we're getting 91 par out of this baby at nine inches. Lux pretty high. Kelvin though, again, I think the Kelvin's messed up because uh, there's a certain way that Kelvin's being measured with the Senai. And I don't think this is absolutely correct because of the way that LEDs blend. So we might have to skip that reading. The per rating though is 52%. So that's still not bad. We're talking about using 45 of the par of the 90. So, you know, not bad for a cheap light. And look at the spectrum. Okay, you don't have much blues. You don't have the peaks on the reds. But you do have everything else. So, if my idea was right about that 60 gallon that I want to put together, two grow lights, which is reds and blues, mainly spectrum, because it's, it's a grow light. It's for plants, right? And then next to it would be the floodlights to get me the daylight look. Then it should work. That'll be interesting. I can't wait to actually try that. All right, 50 watt floodlight, IP65, so it's pretty waterproof. I mean, the other one that I think was IP64, I'm not, I'm, I don't remember. I have to look up the stats. Ah, oh, this is a little big, so I hope I'm not going to blind my fish. So the thing here is I got to place, that's about it. It's all right. It doesn't, oh, it does work. It just takes a little time to turn on. All right, let's take a look at what, whoa, what the readings are. Again, nine inches. So we're getting a par rating of 230. Lux at 8,800. Again, Kelvin's all off, so I'll figure that out later. Uh, par rating is 54% though. Now the other thing here is, as you can see on the chart, again, this is what I talk about in the lighting series is that, hey, you're gonna get massive par with like maybe, you know, 50 watt or 100 watt. Um, LED floodlights at, you know, 18 inches and you're going to get more than enough part. But the problem is, is the spectrum. Look at, you're missing the blues and you're just almost, you're pretty much missing the reds. The reds that you need, the blues that you need to really make your plants, one, grow out, you know, wide, which is the blue spectrum and grow up and tall, which is the red spectrum. It does give you plenty of the green. And remember, for some reason, this chart doesn't, reflect green 
Uh, you know, they they go by the old, you know, thinking of where plants actually reflect green light. But as study has shown, green does affect photosynthesis in some way or the other. Okay, so are floodlights actually worth getting? Well, for the price, yeah, I think you could do well with it. Again, not much blue spectrum, not much of the red spectrum, which really does help the plants really push growth. But you could get away with it. Um, just, just from the readings of, of the Sennai Reef. Again, you know, people will disagree. Some of you might agree. Who knows? But that's in my opinion. And the only way to do that is to test it. And I will be doing that with the 60 gallon. We'll take par readings when I put the grow lights and the floodlights together. And see how the, well they do. Again, I'm surprised that the Sennai is not actually measuring much of the blue or red spectrums on those Planet Plus. So I have to look a little more into it. Is it the Sennai or is it the light itself? Again... People are saying there's some weirdness with measuring LEDs with the Sennai. So I'm not sure about that. I'll contact them and, and ask them, see if I get an answer. Now you guys asked for it, and there you have it, watching me play with par uh, measurements with the Sennai Reef. Now I'll get more in depth into it when I find out more information, as well as uh, videos about like floodlights. And I'll, I'll do some you know more in depth par readings and stuff like that. Uh, the Phoenix Plant Plus. I'm going to go back and revisit the uh, Phoenix Stingray and do some par readings and stuff on that so I can help people out get at least an approximation of what the par ratings are. There you guys have it. I love you guys. Remember, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and that notification icon so you know when I make new videos. Again, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And remember, I love you guys. Stay wet with your tanks. I will see you in the next video.